So guys, and we are back to Game of Thrones, in Game of Thrones, I mean, as I told you, I cut it, or I paused it and record now again, and we left here with Roderick, we are about to find out who is the betrayer in our house, and it's someone that is in our great hall, apparently, so let's see who it is, if it's Duncan, if it's uh, Royland, or maybe the master, or however it's he's called. Pretty curious who it is. If it's the one, maybe, maybe, it, as I told you, uh, when where we found out that one is the betrayer, it could be the one that you not choose to be your sentinel. So let's see. And it's. It looks like Duncan. The Lord. He scared me after. No, really? So you hmm. know. This little rat, I never trusted him. But it's done. Let's say what, uh... Land, gold, or lordship? He didn't offer me anything. So you turned your cloak freely then? What I did. I did for your own good. What? For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. We trusted you, Duncan. My father took you off a pig farm to make you his castellan. I've cared for his family like it's my own. Then why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger Royland as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. So, as I told you, I think because he's has that, maybe if you choose him as sentinel, Royland will betray you. I would guess, but maybe I'm wrong and only he will betray you. Or if you take the master, you can take him too, I think. Maybe neither of them will uh, betray you. It's really an interesting thing. It's only because of me. You haven't all been slaughtered. The only That's not thing true. that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. it hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled. You're a traitor. You're a traitor, Duncan! Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. It wasn't. You're just a rat, I knew it Duncan, since day one. You? He, had, he had this pretty, uh, this nice fa uh, face on his looking or expression, but... Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you! Let's, Let's just, just get, get this over, over with. with. What do you what want, do you want me, me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you hmm. promised. Kill me? And I won't Why do you want him to be dead? Roger. He's in He's danger, danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lord's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. Please, Roderick. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. Whatever you decide, temper your anger with wisdom. If not for my sake, then for your family's. What, what does he say? Something about Asher. I will kill him. I don't care. I don't think we need him. And sooner or later he will die. I mean, it's not a, a pleasant feeling because 
He's not What's even defending himself. He's just staying there and you slaughter him. But on the other hand, he betrayed sad. us and... We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Bring Asher home, we, we ride for the coast, we prepare for a war. Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. I wonder, right to the coast, is it not the same thing at the end? I guess yes, I mean he's there, uh, we are there, at the coast apparently, or at the sea. Oh no, okay, we have Asher. You smell that? We're almost there, Vesca. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Oh, they are fighting each other. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Man? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. These men and women have journeyed here to follow you, Asha. Not him. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? Until this point it's easy, I mean there's nothing, but there could be an ambush, so but apparently we are alway, uh, already on the land. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing too. I said, I said you'd, you'd be paid. paid. I, never I never said you'd be warm. <laughs> oh, so we are already back Ash. in the stronghold. Thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Oh, and Roderick apparently have uh, an armor on. I did not test that before. And even a sword, so I, will, I wonder if he can fight now. I mean the uh, the other times that we try to fight with him. What? Where's this? What the hell? Get that gate open! Ah, this ugly idiot. So Roderick and Asher against all these soldiers. And of course there's a stupid crossbow shooter on the wall. Raise the gate! They've got us outnumbered! Oh shit! We have to get out of here! That doesn't really look like a good plan. What are they doing? Holy crap. One of us has to stay. 
So one will die. Or what? <sighs> Who stays behind? What is this? I'd say Asha stays behind, I'm sorry for him, I like him, but firstly Roderick is the king and secondly he will have a queen too or Elena however and they should survive to get the family back in the later days I think. Can we defend ourselves? With Asha at least. Oh, we can. Oh man. What a bastard from behind he stepped us. So unfair. This is so stupid. The bastard with the crossbow. So sad to see Asher die here. Like that. Well, this game is not the friendliest one, as is already in the last chapters. And again, a forester died, and it, this time it's Asher. We had to choose it, but it's really uh, hard to decide. But as I told you, I spared only Roderick because he had this future wife, and I thought maybe it's uh, the better choice, even if it's if. Uh, Roderick is not the best fighter and so on. Well, the decision was not easy. So yeah, let's see what we got here. Episode 5, a nest of vipers finished. And then yeah, we have the choices. 36% right to stab Ramses now. Okay, only 36%. Uh, you and 61% spared blood song. Okay, this is this guy. 37% hold turn that Cersei sent you, okay. So the most of these guys are liars. You and 58% choose to execute the traitor. Yeah, okay. It says only the traitor, so I assume it could be anyone. Or it could be Royland too, as depends maybe who you choose. You and 39% had Asher stay behind. So yeah, the most of the players killed Roderick or sacrificed him better. So yeah then guys, this was it apparently, yeah. This is the end of episode 5. I will put it in the, or you will see this as a episode and it finished, finished now. So I hope you enjoyed this let's play so far and yeah, if so, leave a like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you for the last episode or chapter of this game, the 6th episode. Bye bye guys, until then.